First here at noon, a potential railroad strike that could have severely disrupted the economy during the holidays will not happen. Thanks for joining us. I'm Reagan Ledbetter. And I'm Autumn Bracey. President Biden signed a resolution this morning after Congress stepped in forcing the rail companies and workers into an agreement. Nally Brand is on Capitol Hill with the details. With the deadline looming, President Biden signed into law a bill to prevent rail workers from going on strike next week. I know this was a tough vote for members of both parties. It was a tough for me, but it was the right thing to do at the moment, to save jobs, to protect millions of working families from harm and disruption, and to keep supply chains stable around the holidays. The Senate overwhelmingly passed legislation late Thursday afternoon. It forced the unions to agree to the contract negotiated in September between the railroads, labor unions, and the Biden administration. Working with business and labor to get this done and avoid this, what otherwise is a really good bill lacking only one thing. And we're going to get them that one thing done before it's all over. The agreement includes 24% raises over five years for workers, adds a personal day and some bonus pay. But senators did not approve something which railroad labor unions have been fighting for, seven days of paid sick leave. They are one of the few industries in America today that have zero sick paid leave. An amendment to add sick leave failed to reach the 60 votes needed to pass the Senate, but the unions say they are not giving up. We're going to continue to fight the sick leave issue uh, outside of contract. Workers say the previously negotiated agreement does not address all of their concerns, but a majority of lawmakers say they had to act quickly as some impacts of a national rail strike could have been felt as soon as this weekend. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.